it's amazing how everything just simply came together. I'd seen Linda online and, and, and liked her profile, quite attractive, and uh, I liked what she had to say, articulate and funny. I wanted to be ready for that, so I didn't immediately reach out. I knew that she was the teacher from Oxford, that's what I knew. I saw the thumbnail from that teacher from Oxford, I knew right away, and she said, hi, handsome. We had a wonderful, wonderful conversation, very easy, and we decided to meet. We decided to meet right at this very spot. I had a first Friday event for work, and he was meeting me here in the park for the first time. He pulled up, and I actually saw him first. He was walking towards me, and I was checking my phone to make sure of time, and if that was him. And he texted me saying that I'm here, and I said, yes, I see you, and I texted him back. That text came in at a time that we are now able to document for the rest of our lives the moment, the exact moment that we met. It was 6.51, 6.51 p.m. on August 7th. We walked across the street over to First Friday events, and from there on, like he says, I think so too, we were an instant couple. We were hand in hand, and our first uh, kiss was magical, and I thought she was just absolutely beautiful, and it was, again, it was just so comfortable. We laughed so many times that day, it was unbelievable. As much as I thought she was pretty in her photographs, honestly, I, I kissed her, we kissed hello, embraced to meet, and I pulled back and I looked at her and I said, oh my God, you're gorgeous. Um, I went home and I texted my friend Kim, who's kind of my person. I texted her saying, this is it. I know he's the one. I would be happy for the rest of my life. I knew it and I went to bed, extremely euphoric and woke up probably about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning to an epic poem that he had penned for me. That was the story of our first date from beginning to end. And it just solidified for me that he was it. it made me so happy because that's me. I'm usually the one doing that for everybody else, but he did for me. It's why we know, it's why we knew that it just felt right. It just fell into place. And every day and every minute, the feelings and the fun has never waned. Love his dad. His dad is a hoot. I loved him from the second that I met him too. One of the first times I met his brothers, he said to me, you know, I can't understand why Mark. I said to him, oh no, you don't understand. I feel like he's the answer to my prayers. And he said, who the hell are you praying to? <laughs> I thought that was the greatest thing. I thought that was so funny. Everyone just took to Linda. Everybody just loves Linda. I lost my dear mother um, three years ago. She was in the hospital, and the last communication I had with my mother when she was able to communicate back, she said, so tell me about this woman from Oxford. And I lost my mother shortly thereafter, so my mother and Linda never met. And I only can surmise and feel certain that I would have loved his mother. I feel that I'm blessed for that handoff, if you will. My mother knew of Linda, and I'm sure that my mother knows how happy Linda makes me. And I miss, I miss that. Like, I miss thinking that uh, she and I could have been friends. Art history is being so common. It's incredible. And she's got two lovely, lovely daughters. You know, I feel that our, our my daughters as Linda feels the same about mine. We have four girls. And when he started uh, dating Linda, or when I found out, I just noticed how like happy he was and he was always in a good mood. The way that they talk, they speak to one another, it's like they, whatever one's thinking, like the other one will say it. She was incredibly nice. She was so sweet right off the bat. And I knew that she was special because he introduced us to her immediately and we were immediately part of family functions and I really liked her from the jump. Not only do I feel like we fit into his family really well because they joke around a lot, like our family does too. I think to have somebody that can just jump right into that and fits in well and like has the same sense of humor that we all have is really nice. I feel like they complement each other, like his flaws she makes up for and the things she lacks he makes up for. So they're just like the perfect pair. They're just so perfect for each other. Like, I've never met a couple more right for each other. But they are, they are perfect for each other. They're perfect height. <laughs> they're, uh, <laughs> they're both very funny. Um, and they're just, like, they're just so in sync. Like, everything, it just, it's like, 
they were made for each other. We have a family that we never knew that we could uh, possibly achieve this kind of happiness, and it's, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, the proposal was kind of fun because I knew that it was happening, and it was Christmas Eve. I planned out a little bit of a, a, a monologue where I was starting with a pair of sneakers. I was sort of playing along at the same time, not really playing along because I was kind of toying with him too. And my dialogue was about taking the first step of many for the rest of our lives in giving her these sneakers and doing so. He wants, I want you to open this gift. It was a pair of sneakers, Converse sneakers with Blue Jays from his team, the Toronto Blue Jays. And I couldn't wait to put them on. But then of course, when I put them on, I had to dance around the living room in them on and, and he, that was messing up his plan. She started walking around and I'm sitting there like waiting and trying to hide the ring and sweating it out. But of course I knew that and I was laughing. It was kind of funny. And sit down, sit down, sit down, he says. So I sit and he said, I just want you to wear them and have everybody know that you and I are meant to be together and that when you wear those, you and I are gonna be walking this journey together for the rest of our lives. And with that, he handed me another box. And it was my ring and I, oh my gosh, my heart was racing. And of course I started crying and he's crying. He just you know, basically said, I wanna spend the rest of my life with you and I want everybody to know that you and I are on this journey together. And I, of course I said yes. That was, that threw me for a loop, she said yes. I am the better for knowing that Linda will be by my side, that we're gonna endure and share in whatever comes our way together and raising our children and enjoying someday grandchildren and all of our experiences are, are shared together. That gives me such a sense, for the first time in my life actually, but a sense of security. He just always makes me feel like I can be me and uh, that, means so much to me because I feel like my whole entire life I've been waiting for somebody that I can be myself with. Somebody that <laughs> loves me exactly for who I am and what I bring to the table and he values me. And I feel exactly the same way about him because everything that he is is perfect for me. And to me, that's, that's love. That, that's, I couldn't ask for anything more.